Candyman is a new sequel to the series. This time, we follow Anthony, a struggling artist in Chicago. He lives with his sugar mama, Brianna. She helps him out where she can, but he becomes obsessed with the Candyman after Brianna's cartoonishly gay brother tells him the legend. The legend of how Helen went on a killing spree and was stopped by the citizens of Cabrini Green. Later, Anthony learns that saying the name five times in a mirror will prompt him to appear. After being stung by a bee, Anthony starts to see the Candyman in reflections and people around him start dying. His art is front and center stage now as he begins to spiral out of control learning that the Candyman wants him. I guess for other fans of Candyman you may have questioned that introduction. Well, that bit of the story is eventually corrected, but the issue lies in the lies and bent or broken rules of the mythos. Firstly, Candyman was indiscriminate. The reason he killed people was that playing the game mocked his existence. This is why one of the first victims, chronologically, we hear about in the original movie is a black kid whose Slim Jim was cut off and thrown in a toilet. All the victims of Candyman here are made out to be the true villains of society, because political propaganda is used like an aluminum bat when your girlfriend won't listen. Here's the thing, I distinctly remember Bernadette getting eviscerated simply because she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Here, the film sets up a girl whose sole purpose is to be mean to a black girl so that her and her friend's death seat is justified. Furthermore, why are all the cops in Chicago, of all cities, white? There might be one Mexican in clear sight of the camera behind a building. Otherwise, not a one of the police has a skin tone darker than Casper. And I know that most police in Chicago are shit, but how are you going to try to convince me as someone who knows Chicago and lives north of it that all the police are whiter than sour cream and shoot first like Han Solo? Also, am I supposed to care for any of these characters? Besides the clearly innocent victims, Anthony's a sociopath. When he hears the art gallery director is butchered, his only comment is, Huh, they said my name. Brianna, get out of this relationship. Anthony is clearly unhinged, and you could find someone who could pull his weight better than a sled dog with just your looks alone. And the screenplay is barren with just about no setup or payoff to anything. I could go into so much more detail, but frankly, this video format does not allow me to do it with my current schedule. So as I mentioned back in my Mortal Kombat review, I am building something to allow me the time to break down films in much more detail so I can make a fair argument from both sides of a film or two. This way I can really establish, for example, why Candyman 2021 is radically inferior to the original from 92. But until that time, I will say this, Candyman is terrible. This sequel takes most of the established rules, rewrites or breaks them, and is so smug about its own propaganda that it fails to realize that those the film makes out to be innocent are sociopaths or the real villains. The team behind this film paints with broad strokes. This is the exact opposite film that should come out today, as it only further divides us and spits in our faces with an awful screenplay, writing, characters, choices, and breaks established rules for a misrepresentative and hypocritical political agenda. Now, thanks for watching. Please like, share, ring the bell for notifications, and if you want to watch more movie reviews, subscribe and check out the charming free guy at the link over there, and I'll see you in the next video.